<laughs> I've got what you need. Believe me. Be careful. Thought you might show up. You need equipment? I'm your man. Is there anything else? Lose heart, you hear? Thank you very much for the other day. I was just saying I acquired some lemons recently, a gift from Mr. Fortune. Thanks to him, I was able to give some lemon juice to my patients. A spot of lemon juice isn't going to cure their cholera. It restores some of the waters they've lost, nothing more. Right. Finding a cure is still our highest priority, and I've been searching high and low for any leads at all. Cut so far. I'm afraid I don't. I need more Western medical texts. Their research on cholera has progressed far beyond ours. In that case, why not try our luck at the British Regation? What? Why there? Audio, you can't be suggesting. Okay, technically we'd be steering. But do we have a choice? Dr. Ine seems prepared to do what it takes. So I heard some rumors while I was locked up. Something about the Shogunate official with a collection of books seized from the Westerners. And all of those seized texts are at the British Regation since they keep all seized goods there. Even though they're still rebuilding from that fire. The British Legation. <laughs> I can't imagine requesting a text officially would work either. Well, if this is the only hope we've got, then I'm in. How about you? Will you help us? I am grateful, and I will repay you. Now, shall we be on our way?
I know it's a lot to ask, but please try to avoid bloodshed. I don't want anyone to get hurt.
Some manner of medicine. <laughs> Let's take it back for Dr. Narasaki to examine. in this illustration uh, a night from somewhere he could well be connected to a cholera treatment
変だな No medical book I've ever seen before. I dare to hope it contains useful information. I'm curious what else there might be. But this is plenty for now. Come, let's get out of here. Can't say I'm impressed with your thieving skills. Ah, I was just thinking I could use some entertainment. I'm so bored I nearly dozed off a minute ago. Guards. They must have been watching us all along. I think I might just have to let you. But please, be careful. You're not going to die on me today. Take you out. You think you can take us on all by yourself? Rest. Not for me. And at least put up a good fight. You were hired to guard this place. You know less. Prepare yourself. I was really rather worried for a moment back there. But it looks like we've made some progress at last. Thank you for avoiding unnecessary bloodshed. I knew I was right to place my trust in you. It isn't much, but here. A token of my appreciation. Damn fools, the two of you. A doctor running around nearly getting herself killed. What has the world come to? Oh, right. I took a closer look at what the two of you brought back. I think it might be Sincona Bark, an effective natural remedy for fever.
You can use Sincona bark to create something called quinine. I've heard quinine can keep some of the symptoms of cholera under control. I was at a complete loss before. But I think this is our way forward. We have to try it. Quinine is a potent medicine. But that makes it all the more dangerous. If we are not careful, our patients will only suffer more. Then we just have to make sure we're careful. If there's the slightest hope of lessening their pain, we have to seize the opportunity. The books we brought back will likely have information we can use. I'm sure there's something we can do. Let me assist you, Dr. Ine. I've never seen medical documents like this, ever. Certainly not in Japan. My father and I will do whatever it takes to get through them. Thank you. Both of you. I hope I can count on your help, too. <laughs> it might make all the difference in saving another life. Oh, pardon me. What about? Good timing. I was just looking for you. There's something I wanted to tell you. I just wanted to thank you for always being so helpful. You've helped me more than you know. Well, that's all I wanted to say, really. Do you have anything you want to tell me? I don't need your help right now, but I appreciate the sentiment. Looking after these patients is my duty, after all. No one else's. You know, plenty of lives have been sacrificed in the West, all in the name of medical advancement. I owe it to every one of those lives to give my duty everything I have. And when I see the way you continue to fight, I am glad you appear to feel the same way about yours. Come see me again, if you'd like. Oh, and let me know if I can ever be of help to you. I've got to return the favor, after all. Just don't go asking me to kill anybody. You've come at just the right time. I was thinking of going to buy some medicine. Will you come with me? Thank you. I could really use the help. Sorry for all the trouble. It would have been a nightmare carrying all this on my own. There's been an influx of injured people lately, on top of all our sick. It feels like we're constantly in need of... Huh? Hello, you. Wait just one second. I'll bring you a little snack. What now? 
Are you asking for more? Do you want to be petted? Here. Um, I am... Uh, well, it, yes. They're very cute. I have to admit, I love little animals. They're just so tiny and adorable. Nothing unusual about that, is there? Actually, never mind. You don't have to answer that. I suppose I don't have to keep trying to act professional in front of you anymore. Maybe I can be a little bit more myself. Let's give that a try. What do you say? What about? What is it? Oh, I'm... Not sure I can answer that question. Even in my earliest memories, he'd already been forced out of the country. So I don't remember anything about him. Nor have I ever particularly missed him. When I grew older, and studied medicine, I began to respect him. But as a doctor, not a father. Traditional medicine has helped many people over the years, but we mustn't deny that there are many diseases we will need Western medicine to cure. I'm not saying Western medicine is perfect, of course. Each school of medicine has its own strengths and weaknesses. But that's precisely why we need the East and West to come together. If he could share our knowledge, imagine how many more lives we could save. This is really lovely. Oh, all right. Hello. I apologize for the endless stream of requests, but I'm afraid I have another favor to ask. Remember when I told you about quinine? I've been pouring through medical texts since then, and I've all but confirmed that quinine will help to ease our cholera patient's suffering. It won't prevent cholera itself, unfortunately. But easing the patient's pain is something at least. And so I find myself in need of more quinine. I've looked around, but I haven't had any luck.
You're right. That would certainly guarantee our supply. But while we wait for the trees to grow, our patients will continue to suffer. Time is of the essence, I'm afraid. That's where the favor comes in. I've heard rumors of a merchant selling Sinkona bark by the river near Mifunakura. It sounds a little bit fishy, to be honest. But we have to take a chance. Would you be willing to look for the merchant for me? Thank you. <laughs> Again? I'm counting on you. Make it cheap, so do have a browse. Places to run into each other. Quite the contrary. I am looking for a seedy apothecary. Someone here has been selling medicines of questionable quality lately. Let me guess. You're looking for the same person. I hear you've been frequenting the medical school lately. Something to do with that, I suppose? I see. In that case, shall we combine our efforts and start searching then? There are a lot of no good types in search of trouble around here. I'd feel a lot better if you were with me.
I appreciate your company. Off we go. Strike while the iron is hot and all that. From here, I think it would be best to swim. A little extra exertion to avoid unnecessary commotion. What's brought you to all the way to a place like this? You must be in the market for a certain something. We're looking for some cinchona bark. <laughs> You're a lucky man. I just got my hands on some top quality bark this very morning. This is the good stuff, you know. Don't know if I'll ever see bark this fine again. Well? Surely you're not going to pass up on this steer. <laughs> of course, of course. Look all you want. Ah, I see. This is a fake. A good one, but the color and texture give it away. Huh? Not buying then. Bah! <laughs> Your loss. This is no ordinary Sincona box, see? Specially grown. Makes a much stronger medicine than the usual stuff. This means I can't let you leave either. <laughs> Give up, Don't need to go too far. Just apprehend him. <laughs> 
That takes care of that, I suppose. I'll turn this crook into the authorities. But that doesn't change the fact that the bark was fake. I'm sure your friends at the medical school will be disappointed. I'd like to drop by the medical school myself later. If you're headed back that way, make sure to tell everyone what we learned here today. Well, did you get the Sincona bark? I suppose that would have been too good to be true. Well, I can't say I'm all that surprised. Thank you. But I'm fine. I didn't have very high hopes in the first place. Frankly, this has made me reconsider a few things. Ah, everyone's here. All went smoothly, turning in that crooked apothecary. Listen, if you're in great need of quinine, I can talk to someone in charge. If they hear how badly things stand, I'm sure they'd lend you some funds. Thank you. But there are better uses for that money than acquiring quinine. We should use it to improve the upkeep of the medical school and the town. During the course of my research, I found that the spread of cholera can be prevented if we just keep our environment clean. For now, I think that should be our highest priority. Even as we keep searching for a cure. I see. While in America, I heard a theory that disease is actually caused by minuscule organisms that thrive in unclean environments. So perhaps the best strategy would be to keep them from proliferating. I'll inform the higher-ups of your proposal at once. Please excuse me. Better to treat the cause than the symptoms, you say? Never thought I'd hear that coming from you, of all people. Stop being so contrary, father. Just say it nicely, like... You've really matured, Ine. I'm so proud of you. Well, if anyone's helped me earn Dr. Narasaki's esteem, it's this person right here. You've been of such great assistance to me. <laughs> I must thank you again. Thanks. I'm glad I can keep counting on you. Hello there. What about? What is it? The hat came out of nowhere. Well, you can thank my father for them. 
and for all the abuse heaped upon me because of them. But for them to be called beautiful, <laughs> maybe they're not so bad after all. This is really lovely. Oh, all right. Goodbye. Come over here, will you? Got any sake? I thought I had some, but it seems I drunk it all up. What are you trying to pull? Oh, this'll do just fine. Thanks. I was wondering when you'd next. I'm glad to see you. Really? That would be great. Oh, it looks like you have quite the collection. Good work. If you want me to improve this, I'll need more reading material. I have a hunch you will be back again. Am I right? How are you? Why, hello there. Just the person I wanted to see. I was hoping you might help me out with my new project. This is going to be quite the masterpiece, I assure you. Help me and there's a reward in it for you. Well? You see, I want to capture a view of Edo in its entirety, in one glorious panorama. That is in a photograph taken from various angles, all expertly stitched together. You're in good cheer, Mr. Beato. Oh. Ah, Sir Alcock. I was just explaining my new photography project to my collaborator. A collaborator, you say? To think you'd stoop to putting your face in such a savage. Are there any lengths you won't go to for this degenerate hobby of yours? You are too kind. But tell me. Would you happen to know of a vantage point from which I can capture an all-encompassing view of the city? 
Well, you might try your luck upon Mount Atago. I can attest the views from the Overlook aren't half bad. I dare say, Mr. Beato, devotion to one's hobbies is commendable indeed. But don't forget our little chat earlier. I shall bear it in mind. My thanks. All right then, Mount Atago it is. Let's meet at the base. Don't keep me waiting too long though. Now take donations for our cause! Glad you made it. But before we go further, will you suffer me one small detour? Mount Artago is usually bustling with townsfolk. I'd like to record a few candid shots of their way of life. With your camera, I'm sure we could manage it in a flash. Well, how about it? Much obliged. Now, whenever you're ready to start, Let's head up the mountain.
Yes, I believe we got some splendid shots. Ah, but... Let's head to the lookout now. Far better position. Those imperialists can be useful on occasion. Well, that's just it. Hmm. What's this? Good lord. Quickly, take the photos. I'll explain later. Still, while it's good that the attack on the legation succeeded, I am worried that the Englishman Alcock suspects something. Company, bring it on. Don't let them leave here alone. That was close, but this is quite a windfall. Mr. Alcock will be very pleased with these photos. Remember, photos also have value as irrefutable evidence. But come, let's continue on to the lookout. Let's get set up and start shooting at once. Speed is of the essence. If the sun and the clouds were to shift even a bit, it would look odd when we tried to join the photos. Most satisfactory. I couldn't have done this without you. And thank you for indulging my little whim. I am in your debt. Indeed. You know, he's an important customer of mine. A patron of my photographic pursuits. In any event, you know how the British legation was burned down the other day? Well, rumor has it. The French paid off the British soldiers to spur the expulsionists on. Mr. Alcock asked me to secure evidence if I saw any of his fellows acting suspiciously. This kind of work helps me pay for my camera expenses. In fact, it's thanks to you I managed to take their photos. So, I'll factor that into your reward. Really, you deserve it. You know, as a photographer, I've been to many countries, but I've never known a culture quite like that of Japan, and Edo in particular. Alas, I fear it has no place in a world ruled by the West. A fleeting thing, culture. Ah, am I that easy to read? I must apologize to you, native to Japan as you are. But you're right. Nothing lasts forever, you know. Not people, nor things. 
And that, that is what I yearn to capture with my photography. You saw in the mountain, did you not? The sheer degradation. But photographing such scenes gives me goosebumps. Japan is much the same. Its ancient culture and institutions will eventually be swallowed by the West. Everything held dear in this country will fade and be forgotten. And to capture that fleeting beauty in a photograph, it makes me want to pinch myself. Oh. Sounds like you have something particular in mind. Please, do tell. <laughs> oh, come now. Do you really believe in that fantasy? I suggest disabusing yourself of such nonsense. N no. I believe you spoke in earnest. Tell me, what do you see with those eyes of yours? Well, I hope you'll share it with me one day. Indeed, I look forward to finding out which of our imagined futures is the more beautiful. <laughs>